Hey, it's Booty, and we're just getting started this morning. Um, let's see. Yesterday, I uh, did what uh, we set out to do, which was about uh, 10 more miles, um, which left for a 24-mile uh, day. Um, about 67 miles from Belden, as of now. Um, so, trying to do... 25 miles or so, we'll see. Um, the sun's already shining uh, 7.15 in the morning, so uh, a late start to uh, beat the heat today, but uh, I think I'll just uh, power through it until around uh, noontime, hopefully get some, get 15 miles in. And uh, after that 15 mile mark, it looks like uh, what uh, people are saying on the guide is a uh, burned area so um, there will be little shade um, so probably do that later tonight um, when the sun starts setting and um, uh, try and get uh, 10 more miles in after that so um, yeah the uh, terrain yesterday was um, mostly easy uh, we'll see what it's like today. It seems like there's going to be a couple climbs, but uh, um, as long as not doing the dead heat, I think uh, it'll be all right. And um, yeah, so my body is uh, feeling a little sore. Um, not 100%, but uh, um, okay. Um, my feet have been... Uh, uh, getting a little gnarly here and there, but uh, right now they feel good. Um, this pack here, I'm going to need a new pack. It's uh, The hip belt is not uh, removable, and it's getting too, uh, too big for my waist. So um, we'll have to figure that out in Chico and um, uh, go from there. So, yep. Uh, everything else, uh, pretty good. Uh, I lost my hat at the, uh, lodge a few days ago, so I'm going to use a bandana as a uh, sun cover. And, uh, looking at my face now, I don't look burnt, so, uh, thankful for that. And, um, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, hopefully going to be not too hot. And it's going to be a good day regardless. So, until next time, booty out. Fantastic, we got some water. What we got in here? All some Gatorades and vitamin waters, all the good stuff, man. Oh, that looks like a beer too, but uh, not feeling that now. Trail magic. In the town of Quincy, let's see if this hairy hiker leg's gonna work out for a hitch. Hey, Booty here, and we out here. We out here in the uh, Bucks Lake Wilderness. Um, so yesterday I uh, did my 15 miles to uh, the Quincy Laporte Road Crossing and there's trail magic there. Um, and uh, very thankful for that. I was planning to uh, rest the day away. Um, and then continue hiking, which I was not excited about doing the uh, burn section, but I uh, I saw Santa, the man himself, Santa, um, with a U-Haul uh, van at the road crossing. He was he was uh, picking up um, he was picking up a solar charger and phone that uh, Bam uh, left behind. And uh, he was gonna take it back into the to the town of Quincy to uh, 
um, to bring back and uh, spend another night there. So uh, he offered uh, to take me back into town, which I obliged, and um, I went back with him. I got a motel at the Lariat Lodge, uh, enjoyed the AC and the TV, and just uh, ate and relaxed and ah, oh, man, man, that was wonderful. Um, so, yeah, I decided to, um, I'm gonna let you in on a secret, I decided to skip the burn section. Uh, did not interest me, and um, I think uh, that was a 15 trail miles or so that I uh, skipped, uh, and I got a ride um, to uh, the Bucks Lake uh, trailhead here. And uh, yeah, so not mad about it. And uh, there's another hiker I was just talking with. Um, and uh, we were just, you know, uh, really talking about our feelings about where we're at on the trail. And, uh, you know, uh, I, do, I do admit that I thought about quitting the other week because, you know, just the weather has been so hot and, um, you know, we're just, uh, I'm not going to speak for everyone, but uh, we're just, you know, uh, thinking about the miles uh, now instead of uh, just enjoying uh, what what the trail has to offer here, um, which is not what we're supposed to be out here for. So, you know, it was good to talk about that, but uh, um, I think... I, I think I'll be all right. Uh, I think I'll feel better about myself once uh, I get out of this uh, dreaded heat in North Cal. Um, but uh, I'm gonna keep on, keep on trucking. You know, um, it's just you know, just a feeling I had, and um, I've been playing music more and more and trying to, you know, just blast out you know miles and not really thinking about the present of what we got here because you know it's uh, this weather is just uh, getting to me but uh, I think uh, there will be better trails ahead and uh, I'm looking forward to to what else we have in store here so that's just uh, something I thought I I would share with everyone um, uh, but yeah, yeah, I enjoyed the uh, AC and Quincy and uh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's all I really needed. So uh, we're back out here. Um, I think we're at uh, 5,500 feet or so uh, got a 2,000 foot climb I think um, Maybe maybe a little less so uh, the weather won't be as bad and uh, I'm probably gonna do like 10 miles or so today. I uh, got 19 to get to uh, Belden, where I will be going to uh, Chico. And uh, there I will uh, take a, a zero, which I haven't taken in a while. So I think that'll also uh, help my spirits uh, in terms of uh, the rest of this through hike here. And um, yeah. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to enjoy a nice, easy day today. And uh, it's going to be good. So, until next time, booty out. Don't know if anyone's been seeing the uh, smoke clouds from previous videos, but <clears throat> this is the closest we'll be getting to this fire here. 
um, yeah, it's pretty gnarly looking. Uh, the motel, the Quincy, the town of Quincy I was staying at, uh, all the motels were getting fully booked because of the firefighters staying. So, uh, yeah, we won't be getting any closer to this fire. Booty here. Uh, it is day who knows what day it is uh, on the PCT, um, but we are hiking and um, had to a there is a fire closure um, that we just uh, uh, got um, yesterday uh, while I was zeroing in Chico. Um, sorry I didn't, uh, film anything in Chico, but, um, I got the live music I was, uh, told, promised, um, and, uh, we had libations, we relaxed, we played Chinese checkers, um, a few other hikers were with us, um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good time, uh, I got to meet uh, Lefty's friends and um, Bright Side was there as well, um, and uh, yeah, it was just a overall good time. Um, it's uh, still hot, it's still hot outside, um, but like I said, with the fire closure, uh, we left off at Belden, um, and uh, when we drove to Chico, we got to. Uh, see up close where that fire was I was filming. Uh, that was apparently a different fire from uh, uh, the previous uh, smoke I saw uh, coming around the uh, Tahoe area. Um, yeah, and so yeah, it's very new fire uh, that just uh, sprouted. I don't know how it came to be, but uh, we uh, we got to see the flames and the there's a helicopter picking up water and um, yeah we the smoke wasn't terrible when we uh, drove through it but um, uh, apparently uh, they closed the trail because smoke was blowing in the direction of the climb out of uh, Belden so they closed uh, they closed that that portion up up to uh, um, Cold Spring um, or well this is where we got dropped off at but uh, about four miles before the Cold Spring Junction here um, and uh, I think they closed it uh, behind Belden as well uh, up to Bucks Lake uh, where I was just the other day uh, filming and um, I think they just did that for uh, uh, hitching uh, convenience. Uh, they don't want the hikers probably uh, trying to hitch uh, out of Belden where they're, um, you know, working ever so hard to uh, keep the fire uh, contained. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I was completely wrong that uh, I thought that fire we were going to uh, be skirting around but uh, alas uh, here we are anyways we got to uh, meet some uh, a, a high, uh, trail angel and his friend uh, Ron and uh, um, it was uh, fun to talk to them and see his whole setup he was just uh, breaking down since you know no hikers are allowed up to that point um, but uh, he said he uh, fed 250 hikers over the span of five days, which is quite stunning. Um, and uh, hats off to that man. Uh, he, he's uh, made 250 hikers very, very happy. Um, and uh, he offered us some drinks and some fruit 
some you know leftover stuff that he did not want to take with him um and uh yeah he's a he's a great guy he's been doing it for nine years and and counting so um hats off to him so anyways uh we're gonna check out uh humboldt peak um coming up in like five miles um probably gonna camp uh probably a few miles past it um so I will have uh, 17 miles to to get to Chester, and um, and meet up with my friend Ryan, who uh, is is around the West Coast for a work trip. And uh, I told him, uh, "Hey, I'm going to be in Chester this weekend, and uh, he's going to meet up with me, and we're going to hang out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. I'm going to uh, enjoy enjoy seeing him." So. Yeah, man. Um, I got a new pack. Uh, Lefty's boyfriend, Stuart, um, lent me his pack um, because my uh, hip or my waist uh, has gotten too small for the previous one. And it's the same uh, same style pack. It's REI Flash. It's just uh, 10 liters less than my other one. And it feels pretty good so far. So... Uh, We'll uh, we'll uh, see how it goes in the next uh, couple of days or so to really get the scope of it, but it feels feels pretty good so far. So, anyways, I've been talking for six minutes now. I'm gonna gonna just shut up and uh, start hiking. So, until next time, booty out.